February 18th, 2023. Oh, craziness again. Craziness again. Um, I was out with my client and uh, I seen this older guy. And he reminded me of this one older guy that was helped out in the case. And he told everybody he better be good. To, they better be good to me or else. And would threaten him. And I seen him all, well, I thought, wow, you look like that one guy that threatened people. And, or they said he was threatening him and that they better be good to me or else. And I almost teared up because it's been a long time since, you know, people have tried to make sure people were nice to me even. Um, you know, and then uh, I got to thinking, you know, how it's drug addicts and prostitutes. When I moved out, I was working at different businesses. And these, the thing of it is the mean jokes was I was the woman too ugly for another man. Okay. Uh, and they would have these women show up. He went out with us today or he went out with me today instead of you. And I kept thinking, why are they bringing, and they're just being idiots saying that because I don't even know these people. You know what I mean? And it's like, you're weird. And you're trying to put me down. And they'd say, strange said that no one, uh, no man's ever won her again. And we're to make sure of it. I'm just like, shut up. You know? And there was, I thought, why would you bring these lewd, trashy women around businesses? And here they were prostitutes. This one guy showed up with two blonde prostitutes. You want to talk? Now, we got a like a prostitution street in Cannes called Cherry Street. Yeah, these women had red dresses on, barely cuffed the bottom of their butts, cut down way below their boobs, okay? Strapless, I mean with, uh, not strapless, but... Um, sleeveless shirt you know like a sundress cut way down like this you talk about a prostitution dress a spike high heels red i'm in a business setting and two blonde girls walk up and laugh at me how they you know blah 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 and i'm thinking why would they bring such lewd women here and ones that look like prostitutes because they were prostitutes <laughs> had two prostitutes that day some skanky man had two prostitutes going out with him using the case's money. That's why. Uh-huh. Because I kept thinking, why are they bringing these cheap-looking, trashy women that look like prostitutes? Because they were prostitutes. They had gay prostitutes, male prostitutes. They had female prostitutes. Yeah, they were going out with them. Do you think I care that some low-life man had to pay for some prostitutes someday? And that I don't even know. And they wasted the case's money buying prostitutes? Oh, they've talked about that all the way from gas stations all the way, everywhere. That agent just paying for prostitutes. This whole thing is, you know, I was talking to that one guy that said, I know someone who knows someone who deals drugs. And I went and asked him, you know, and they said, it's that agent. Uh, I didn't realize that he uh, used the case uh, that he actually, uh, how do you put it? He owed those drug dealers money. And he was willing to let them hurt you in front of people until he took up enough money to pay him off. And then you said they stole 300000 from the case. And I said, yes. He said, well, then there's 100000 to 300000 um, is a major drug shipment. And they paid for another drug shipment. Well, he actually opened the informant program, the witness protection program, put me in police protective custody. And then, <clears throat> and he stole all the money. Him and that retired judge. Well, I was talking to that guy that night. He's actually been talking. He's friends with some of the local police there. And um, 
he's also friends with them. And they were telling him different things about these drug traders that are human traffickers. That how they got 35 women that they had them ship, they were shipping them in a railroad uh, car and they heard noises and they went and looked and they had them all tied up and gagged. Uh, so where these people are making fun of me, these people are human trafficking people. And I said, well, you remember uh, last year that judge in Florida, he was human trafficking people. You do realize they had to have drug dealers ready. They had to have pimps, prostitutes for them to sell those people. They were human trafficking into human slavery and human um, sell them like cattle. He said there wasn't just that one. There was another one. And he was talking about him. He said there's been at least two. And I said, well, this other judge, that retired Judge Pete, and that agent. Um, and I said, and it was on the Department of Justice that another agent stole 200, over 200000 from uh, another case and went out gambling in Vegas. And I said, it's just that him stealing and that other judge is human trafficking people. And their family members coming together and bringing it as one. And he's like, what is stopping them from arresting him? And I said, I don't know. And I said, because when I talk to officers that have retired out of this area, they're, they're like, is your local police slow? They should have arrested the, that judge and that agent for anything, for even bullying me. He goes to jail for it, spectering. He can't talk to you that way. They, they can't do this, they can't do that, and they can't work conflicts of interest. Dave Dayton, that agent's kid, the retired judge's family member, you know, and they can't do any of this. And he couldn't bully me on the phone. They couldn't leave me in high danger. They couldn't, you know, me not get my money, da, 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 da. You want to name it, they can't do any of this. And it, it, it just, they're like, it's your, even a local officer could have arrested them for what they did. Um, and it's, this is crazy that they have made it this far. And it's cost at least three girls in the local area to be kidnapped and sold into human trafficking. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it just, out and people, some of them were, were actually following me around where they're selling the login and the videos of stuff. And they're selling it and people are showing up following me. Well, then they get to scan out the group and then decide who they want to kidnap. They're, they're very diabolical. They sell them hurting me and then these teenagers and other kids see it and then they show up and follow and then they decide who they want to kidnap. They basically show up to their own murders. They're on display. You know, this is weird to the point, you know, when I was talking to that guy, I'm like, what part did they not understand when they teach their kids, you don't befriend strangers and you don't sit and talk to them, people we don't know, you don't know, because it's not safe because then they'll start luring you, be your friend, and then they'll take you and you'll disappear and you'll end up dead. What part of, they're doing the, what they would teach their young 10, 12 year old kids not to do and not the stranger danger kind of thing. And these people are doing it and they're letting their kids participate because they hand them 20 bucks, a $50 shirt, a cell phone, and they pass out gifts to them and they'll let people get killed, raped, tortured. And you know who gives them control over this? The people that are participating in their own mouths, in their own minds. That's the only thing. It's wrapped up in their own mind that they have control over this. They don't have control. They don't have any say so what happens to me or what, who gets what or anything. They are just lying to these people and they're so irrational and so crazy. They just go along with it and they worship them like they're gods. And they're just saying shit. Just shit. Just, they'll say anything, oh, really? Oh, really? And then when they realize they're being lied to, they give up. And then they give more people that are mindless boobs that they could actually do this. Uh-huh. See, that's where the um, one guy I was talking to, he said the police aren't releasing all the information of everything that's going on. Well, of course not. There's a retired judge and an agent involved in this too. Human trafficking people. 
I'm, I, uh, shout out to the marshals. They've arrested 139 people in Ohio and over 800 people in the United States. And, you know, that's one thing that guy said. He, he already knew about the people in Texas being involved. The, where the Kings met, there were 350-pound men. They showed up. They made sure that I knew that he were, they worked with that agent. And they would uh, say his name. They would da 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 da. Yeah. And they would call me a dumbass, an idiot, mock me in public. Okay. That agent opening that case, leaving me up there to die, letting them hurt me, and his daughter dating Dave, my ex-husband, my husband at the time. You realize there should have been a safety guard in the FBI uh, that where I called the hotline. It should have went to Akron. I lived in Portage County. Google who's over, uh, who's over uh, Portage mm -hmm. County, Ohio. You know who it is? It's Akron. Not a Stark County FBI task force courthouse agent. I told you I didn't even think it was real. He bullied me so bad on the phone. I Googled it. I found him. He's real. They didn't even have jurisdiction where it was. Him even pulling that case out of the area should have set off uh, signals. What the hell are you doing touching that case? It's not in your area. See what I mean? Let alone they should have found out that his kid was dating my husband at the time. Rules it out. Uh-huh. And they should have found out that he uh, bullied me on the phone and arrested him. That's tampering with witnesses. The law states, Department of Justice 1729, yeah, any victim, witness, or informant tries to give a statement, they have to take it if they believe it or not and follow through. Or it's tampering with evidence, uh, obstruction to justice. You get 10 to 20 years. And then tampering with witnesses. They can never call you a liar. They can never tell you can't say anything. You have a freedom of speech. And it's your decision if you get out of the witness protection program. You're in it usually for life. And he stole every dime since day one to pay those drug addicts and those prostitutes. He's used this case as the biggest scam in the world, him and that retired judge. They're, and they, the only thing that's gave them control over those people's behavior is their own ignorance of letting them use their mouths and their vehicles to follow me around harassing me and their own stupidity. They have no control over me. There's not, I have never done anything wrong. And I saw an innocent of everything in the protected custody case and all the police know it. And they didn't have a right in my home before. They didn't. And that's why that Eric laughed at him, made fun of him on November 18, 22 at Walmart 62. All the tapes before were him and not me and done for people to turn on me and how they photoshopped and date rape drugged everything. And, and confessing inside Walmart 62 by the hair salon, tape and audio. And then I deed to a Canton officer by a nurse as of that Eric they were looking for. And these people still run around. And the only thing control they have over is their own tongue and their stupidity of letting other people use them to make fun of victims that have been raped, tortured by a prostitution drug trading group, human trading group that's up here grabbing people to kill them and to sell them into slavery. And they are using this case as a pawn to grab more people and to embezzle funds from the federal government. This is not the first time a judge has human trafficked people. It is not the second or the third. Do we understand? And that agent, it's not the first time that they have stolen from a case. It's just, it's combined together and they're running the biggest scam in the world. And people need to get down here and fix it. It's been, I've been trying to get help. You know, that Asian lady showed up uh, within a few months of the shooting night and said her husband died. And she followed me around to about this time last year and then she disappeared. And I'll tell you what, her and her kids, and I'll t they probably killed them or sold them in human trafficking. They've already grabbed three. And it's not funny. None of this is. And my kidnapper, people have seen them. They're in it with the human uh, traffickers, the drug traders from out of the area, the Gentleman's Club from Florida, the Kingsman Group from Texas. There were several people from New York. And then there's that Henry Mafia. And they are loud and proud. And they will tell you flat out they stole the money from the case. And they like look at you and say, so. They 
will sit and confess that they had me raped, they had me tortured, they'll show you videos and say, so. They don't care. They don't think they're stoppable until somebody actually grabs that case. See, I called the FBI hotline. See, I called the FBI hotline. Have an agent call you back out of his area, call me back because Dave was dating his daughter. And he bullied me into the phone, on the phone, to a false statement under a threat of arrest. Made me plead for my life and then opened the witness protection program, the informant part. With the money, the diplomatic community then bullied me again. But he opened it. And he had an officer talk to Dave, requirements of the Department of Justice to be in somebody's home. Police and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of life and have to speak to everyone before they start. They can never look or listen. It's a Fourth Amendment right to privacy. And I'll tell you what, but he opened it. It's like the Amish men with the beards. They have these people dead to rights hurting me. And if somebody opens that case, it's an, oh my God. You know, they may be able to link him back to the, where they took those girls. They ping, find out who was in there because since they're, they're prostitutes and drug dealers, they probably have priors. Uh-huh. And if they ping their cell phones, they may be around the ones that were hurting me. They may be able to find it.